hello good viewers uh, let's see how we are going to solve this problem here you want to know the value of a in this equation a square plus 100 over a square plus 1 equals 19 so now uh, you know I'm going to do something here if I add uh, 1 to the both sides of this equation I'm going to be having a squared plus 1 plus 100 over a squared plus 1 equals 19 plus 1 you can see I actually did not change anything here. It doesn't uh, destroy this because the equation is balanced. We added one to the both sides, okay? And the reason why we added it is to make sure we get our solution rightly. So now from here, so we have a squared plus one plus 100 over a squared plus one is because this. So now what you are going to do, if you look at this, we have a squared plus one here, we have a squared plus one here a squared plus 1 is here so this is going to be a squared plus 1 right plus 100 over a squared plus 1 equals 19 plus 1 that's going to give us 20 so now from there we continue we say let a squared plus 1 equals what equals b so therefore anywhere we see a squared plus 1 in this equation so we replace it by b so this is going to be b from here it's going to be b plus 100 over what 100 over b 100 over b then equals 20 so now from here we're going to multiply throughout by b to clear the fraction here so that is b times b plus 100 over b multiplied by b equals 20 multiplied by b so now from there we're going to have b squared plus this we cancel this we have 100 then equals 20 b so now from there we're going to have b squared 20 b will come inside we're going to have minus 20 b then plus what plus 100 equals zero so this is what this is quadratic equation in terms of b so now to factorize this now so what are we going to have so we can see that we can write this at b squared minus 20 b then plus 10 squared equals zero so now when you look at this this is like perfect square quadratic that is you're going to have this one if you have a minus all b squared so this is going to give us a squared right minus 2 a b then plus what plus b squared so now when definitely we are going to have this factorized in what b minus what b minus 10 okay b minus 10 square equals 0 or better still you can say that from here b square minus 20b plus 100 equals 0 okay so i don't want us to be confused so that that's why i'm trying to go back so b square minus 20b plus this so we can have it in this form i know you understand this one better so we have b we have b here so look for a particular number that when you multiply them together you're going to have plus 100 and when you add them together you're going to have minus 20 b and that is what minus 10 minus 10 so now you can see b minus 10 b minus 10 it can be written as b minus 10 raised to power 2 because they are product of the same you no know, factors equals zero so now from here so we can take the square root of both sides here if you take the square root of both sides you know that this we cancel this we have b minus 10 equals what equals 0 right so we have b to be equals 10 so we have b to be equals to 10 so if b equals 10 so we are looking for a not b so we need to recall that We've already stated up there that b should be a squared plus 1, right? So since b is 10, we have a squared plus 1. So therefore, we need to take transpose this one to the other side. We have a squared, then equals 10 minus what? 10 minus 1. So therefore, we're going to have what? We're going to have a squared to be equals. This 10 minus 1 is 9. Taking the square root of both sides, we're going to have plus or minus. Then we have plus or minus what? Plus or minus a will be plus or minus 3. 
then we have our solution so our solution that is a equals plus or minus 3 and that is the end of the class if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this to your colleagues if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel consider subscribing today so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you for watching bye bye